Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video. And today, I'm pretty much just going to do some random commentary here. Mostly going to be talking about Black Ops 3 kind of zombies here, because it kind of fits in with the gameplay of On the Map Moon and all that kind of stuff. So, before I kind of get started on my whole commentary thing here about zombies and Black Ops 3 and all that kind of stuff, I just want to say there has been a lot of leaks for Black Ops 3. There, because uh, there's some people who, there's a lot of people who've already got their game, hands on early with the game. And there's just, oh, there's just so many leaks going on, and I wish I never knew about these leaks, because it's definitely, because that's the thing, like, we've gotten so much information about Black Ops 3, we've played the beta, and we and Treyarch has came out and actually told us some things, and that's the thing, like, people are like, wait, are you, like, are, some people might be saying to themselves, is Treyarch just going to tell us the entire game, because we know so many features that are going to be in the game already, and that's the thing, um, why would they? share all the features that's the, what gets me really excited for black ops 3 as well as a lot of other people is that i want to know things that are that we don't know and now those things we're not supposed to know are getting all leaks because people already have the game and all that kind of stuff which kind of ticks me off but i'm not gonna i'm gonna try not to say any leaks in this video so i don't spoil anything for you guys um but yeah halloween uh, just ended recently um I wonder how that went with you guys, um, but for me, it was it was alright. It was definitely a lot different than my previous Halloween years. Of course, the older you get, the uh, less you do, I pretty much say. It's kind of how I see it, but I mean, anyway, um, let's just say that uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies, going back to jumping into Black Ops 3 here, um... So, Black Ops 3 Zombies, um, we know, I'm going to kind of say some things that we already know, we know there's going to be a progression sy system, and that you can prestige in it, you guys may not know that you could prestige in it, but that's pretty cool, I don't know how many prestiges, prestiges you can do in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, um, let's see here, we know the two ma main maps, there's going to be Shadows of Evil, which is going to be coming with this, so if you get Black Ops 3 for... I guess any console, because you can get it for last gen, and I recommend not getting for last gen, guys. I saw an image for last gen on Black Ops 3, and it looks absolutely disgusting. It is even worse than Advanced Warfare on last gen, and that's saying a lot. So, I recommend not getting it for last gen, no matter what, in my opinion. So, anyway, we also have, we have Shadows of Evil, and the map, uh... The Giants. I almost called it Dairi. Dairi is there for a second, but it's, it is the same map, but it's just it's just called the Giant. And to get the Giant, you can get it from getting a Deluxe Edition or Juggernaut Edition. You, you, that's how you get the map, the Giant, or you can get it from buying Seasons Pass, which I think is awesome because that definitely saves my butt because I already bought pre-ordered the game. Um, that that was a standard version, not a deluxe version. So I'm like, oh crap! I don't, I can't get the giant map now. And now that they told us that you can get the giant map and the Nuketown map uh, for multiplayer um, by buying Seasons Pass, and that thing that just totally saves my butt. I'm really happy that I can get the giant map from buying Seasons Pass because <laughs> that's what they did with Black Ops 2 Zombies with the uh, map uh, Nuketown Zombies. And so yeah, I'm thank thank the Lord I can get it from getting Seasons Pass. So yeah. Going back to Black Ops 3 Zombies here, what to, what we're going to expect. Um, there really isn't much else to say other than the two maps, Shadows of Evil and the Giant. And also, there's going to be a progression system, which is pretty cool. Now, I actually do have an image on my phone that I saw. It was leaked a while ago, um, where it showed the Zombies main menu. Uh, and it's pretty interesting. It doesn't make any sense, though. Uh, it... There are some things on the screen. You can barely see the screen, though. It's blurry. It's not a very focused picture. It's not It's not the entire picture that either. The, the, the main picture is just showing a picture of these two guys, like, playing, uh, like, Black Ops 3 Zombies or something. In the background, it shows, like, people sitting around a campfire, or at least one person in that matter. Um, <clears throat> it shows one person sitting by a campfire, and it's nighttime in the woods. And... Let's find, I find that odd. I'm like, really? Because none of the maps take place in the middle of the woods. So I wonder if we're going to get another map in there or something. But one thing, but and then it also showed like another man out deeper in the woods. I mean, I can kind of tell I have a pretty good vision when I look at things. And that's just something I saw. So I don't know. That's kind of interesting. I wonder what we're going to have to... We're going to have to wait and see what 
kind of what that's going to be. But we also do know. I mean, this is kind of a spoiler here, but I don't. I can't. I. But I mean, I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, another kind of like zombies thing we're going to have is Dead Ops Arcade 2. If you guys don't know what Dead Ops Arcade is, it's actually in Black Ops Zombies, Black Ops 1 Zombies. And you get it by, I think, beating the campaign or you type in this code on the computer in the main menu or something like that. And you can get this thing called Dead Ops Arcade. You can, <clears throat> and you can actually beat Dead Ops Arcade, but it's actually pretty hard. Um, so I think Dead Ops Arcade 2, which I thought they were going to do in Black Ops 2, but I guess they didn't. So they're bringing it back in Black Ops 3, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited to play Black Ops uh, 3 Zombies. I mean, we got Shadows of Evil, Die Rise, and Dead Ops Arcade 2. I think Dead Ops Arcade 2... Um, I think it's maybe pretty cool. Um, what else should I talk about? Oh yeah, in the main menu, um, like that we were looking at, and we're about the woods. I don't. That actually might take place in uh, the Dead Ops Arcade. That could be it. That could be like if you select a map, like the background of the main menu might change or something. It's kind of like that in uh, Extinction for Call of Duty Ghost. Um, or black or um actually back back in black ops 2 they had the same thing with zombies so that could so maybe dead ops arcade 2 will take place in like the woods or something even though if you remember back in the normal dead ops arcade uh you actually went to different areas there was like the first area was like a more of a shore area with like a broken ship and then there was like a temple area a prison um and yeah there's like a bunch of different areas um, that were in Dead Ops Arcade, um, so maybe Dead Ops Arcade 2 will take place in the woods at the start or something. That'd be kind of weird, because if you guys remember Dead Ops Arcade 2, you're kind of, like, the, you're, the screen is, like, facing down, and that's how you, like, control your character. You can only see, like, the top of its head or whatever. I, I don't know. So I'm not really sure, um, what the woods mean. Maybe it's not even the main menu. Maybe this is, like, a fake leak or something. I don't know. Um, but another thing about the main menu was that it had underneath the player's uh, name, it had like these colorful circles underneath it, and I'm assuming those meant like gumballs or the gobble gum is what it's what we found out is what it's called for Shadows of Evil. And if you guys don't know what gobble gum is, it's basically you purchase it and you eat it, and it's like a temporary type perk sort of thing. And there's a lot of different kinds. Um, some of them might uh, pull out like you know, like a random power up might come up like a max ammo or something uh zombies will like ignore you and go after other players or something like that i don't know there's like a ton, bunch of different ones i can't like those are the only two i can name off of the top of my head um so i'm not sure if that means you can start off with gobble gum i guess we'll just have to see about that um but it definitely looked like gobble gum and this did and it probably is but i'm not sure what it means i'm not sure if you're going to start with gobble gum or something i'm not 100 percent sure what those like colorful circles might have been and another thing which actually popped up not too long ago last week um not not too long ago last week doesn't make any sense um but anyway last week i think it was um i watched a youtube video and well actually this youtube video was on treyarch's uh, main youtube channel and it was like it was what was it called it was called the uh uh black ops zombies story or, or something i can't remember what it was called but basically what it was it, it didn't it wasn't like a uh a storyline or what what, it, what are they called um it's like the uh like if you remember they made the campaign the uh oh it's a timeline that's what i'm thinking of timeline uh, i think it was like a zombies timeline thing and people thought it might have been like a timeline what they actually what they're giving actual facts about the storyline so we don't have to figure out ourselves or something turns out it wasn't like that it wasn't like an actual timeline it was actually just like a montage of a bunch of uh di of, of like all the treyarch zombie maps put together with like music playing in the background to make it look badass and all that kind of stuff but there were some maps um they did not show in the uh in the, in that video uh, so one of them was buried i think um and ascension uh i think there's another black ops map i think it might have been no it wasn't shangri la uh, i think it might have been moon it, i think it was moon ascension uh and buried um, that, um there might have been another map but i can't i can't remember right now but anyway i remember seeing this with my own two eyes uh uh, even it's not like you know how some people would make a video and like a very split second like a very very small split second they will like have an image appear and you and you won't even be able to see it with your own two eyes but in this you actually can kind of see it for a little bit and basically what this picture was and i didn't give too much thought i'm like oh yeah it's just going to be the main menu of the moon uh loading screen right because 
and um, that's why that's why I saw I saw the moon loading screen. But then I saw a guy named Mr. Dollar JD. You guys probably know him. He's a pretty popular black Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber. Um, he kind of pointed this out, and he meant and he showed the picture again of that uh, main menu screen of Moon, uh, what main loading sc um, the loading screen for Moon, and basically it wasn't it was it was that it was the loading screen, but it wasn't. Like there were some images on there that were actually changed. Like for example, um, like in the bottom left corner, I believe the page was ripped. Um, but in this one, that page wasn't ripped, and on the right side, normally you would see the uh, the astronauts walking away from like the pyramid or something. It was like some sort of pyramid or something like that. Griffin Station, I don't know. But anyway, they're like walking towards, like they're like walking away from the object. But in this new picture, um, there wasn't a ripped corner, and those astronauts were walking to it, I believe, or maybe it's vice versa. I'm not really sure about that. But also next to that, um, there was no, it normally showed that giant like saw that you would see on the moon map that would like block uh, an area of the map that you couldn't like go through. And instead of showing that, it showed Samantha holding a teddy bear, which was really interesting. And so a while ago, this was like a really, this was like, this was like a long, long time ago. This was like back when, this was like back before, um, like not this picture but like I'm talking about another time where back before they start sending out those snapchats for teasers of Black Ops 3 I believe it was and basically it was Treyarch like having like a kind of press conference or some type of sh they, were sh they were talking about they like went on the stage and they started talking about the making of zombies for their Treyarch games it wasn't about any information about Black Ops 3 zombies at the time but uh, they they were talking about how they kind of make it, what they go through their head, and all that stuff. I believe, and it was a live stream. I, I do think it was. And there was this part where uh, they would like on screen it would show like these different uh, images, and one of these images it actually showed the loading screen to Durees. And in that picture, it was a loading screen to Durees, but it was different. And in that picture, it, there were some things that were changed if you compared it to the old one. And so, and some people had speculation, oh, they're going to remake the map Durees. And guess what? They did remake the map Durees. So, so Mr. Dalek JD also is assuming they're going to remake Moon, which I think would be kind of cool, actually. Um, I think it would be pretty cool for people who haven't played Moon to play it in Black Ops 3. This would be a good experience for them. Um, but I'm also thinking to myself, well, you know, um, this is called, this is also goes the same thing for Durees. If they do make a remake for Moon, it will kind of suck for me because I have played those maps. I have played Durees many times, and I have also played the Moon map many times. Like I, this footage right here, you guys are seeing of Moon is uh, I played this like like last weekend or whatever, and so. Um, so yeah, I played Moon recently, and I've also played Durees recently, and I've, I've played both these maps many times, so for me, it kind of sucks that they re they're they going to remake these maps, if they do remake Moon, that is, um, and so, because I've already experienced it, but of course, uh, if you guys, of course, one thing, okay, if you guys are kind of new to Call of Duty, like, if you guys started playing Call of Duty back in, um, Call of Duty Ghost or something, I don't know, something recent, um, if you guys... So basically, when they they this is the second time Dur Reese is actually being remade in a Call of Duty game. So Dur Reese originally came out in World at War, which is the first Call of Duty game to implement zombies. And in Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops, they had the Resurrection DLC, which contained all the World at War zombie maps and the Moon map. Uh, and so they also, of course, they remade in Dur Reese and um and Call of Duty Black Ops, and the difference between World at War and Black Ops juries was in World at War, you had the World at War weapons, right? It's back in World War II, of course, and in Durees, um, I think it was, like, the map was still setting back in World War II, but if you go in the mystery box, you're getting Black Ops weapons, not World at War weapons, and so my speculation in Black Ops 3, when we play the map The Giant, um, we're gonna have Black Ops 3 weapons, so we're gonna have futuristic weapons, which actually, for we or all of us should already know for a fact that we are gonna get Black Ops 3 weapons because from the most recent trailer we've had for the Giant, um, it actually showed them shooting the futuristic guns, and even in the even in the cutscene trailer that we saw a while ago. 
back at like Comic Con or whatever, um, it also showed them like holding futuristic weapons. So I mean, uh, yeah, that, that's basically what the thing. That's what, what they do in the map remakes. They keep the layout the exact same. It's just that the weapons are different. They're just meant for that game. That the weapons that you use in that game, like in campaign and multiplayer, are just implemented onto that map for zombies. That's basically the only difference, and better graphics, I assume, because now we're on next gen, and yeah, so that's basically what remake maps do, but going back to the uh, moon remake, this is going to be pretty interesting, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the moon remake, I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure what they're going to do with a, a moon remake if they do do that, um, but it would be kind of interesting, I, hmm, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm not really sure what they're going to do with the moon remake, but that picture we saw in that YouTube video that Treyarch put out did show the loading screen for Moon, but it was different. And that's the exact same thing we saw a long time ago before the Snapchats of Duris. So we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm getting pretty close uh, to my end of my commentary here. I'm kind of running out of things to say. I just kind of want to go on and on about kind of Black Ops 3, kind of my thoughts in my head about maps. And oh man, Black I'm just sorry, guys, but Black Ops 3. We, I'll be honest with you, I think we're all excited to play Black Ops 3, and especially Zombies. Zombies is going to be amazing. Can't Heck, the campaign is going to be awesome. It's going to be different like any other Call of Duty campaign we played before. So I'm really excited to play this game, guys. Um, and one thing I want to note is I hope, I am just hoping to God, that I will get the game the day it's released. <laughs> because, so I did pre-order the game, but I didn't pre-order it digitally. Um, if I pre-ordered it digitally, I would already be able to pre-load the game, so when the game actually launches at midnight on Friday, um, basically I'll be able to play it then and there, and it's already downloaded on my Xbox and whatnot. So, um, I didn't digitally download it. I actually ordered it off Amazon, and it's going to be shipped to me in an actual disc, right? That's how I did it, and I don't know if it's going to be going to be delivered on that Friday, and it better be delivered on that Friday. The thing is, that kind of really sucks that I have a, my last football game is this upcoming Friday, so I'm not going to be able to play it too much that night, and the next morning, I actually, I gotta do community service for my, that's like planting trees, because I need community service if I want to graduate from my school, so I gotta get those done too. I think I'm gonna be so busy this weekend. Oh, and then I'm gonna be grinding out videos for you guys. Hopefully, I will be getting the game on Friday, because what I want to do is come home after school, download the game, go back up to the game and play and play my game. Hopefully we win. It's our last game. Fingers crossed, right? And come back, and my game will already be done downloaded, and I can start playing the game, right? That's what I want to do. So, yeah, this is pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I haven't really showed a lot of uh, Call of Duty Zombies gameplay, and then I just recently got my Black Ops game back, and I started playing Moon, and... Uh, moon map, oh, it's a, it's a toughy map, but in this in this gameplay footage, I thought I did pretty good. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and commentary. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating whatever for whatever you guys feel this video deserves. And I shall catch you guys next time.